It can be a little bit painful. You did my wedding dress for me. Ooh. No wind instruments are allowed to be played. <laughs> yeah, much better. The only thing is keeping me going in 2020. I'm wearing a jumper. Don't judge me. I still get really cold in Singapore. I'm even wearing socks as well because I have the worst circulation so I always get really cold in this apartment for some crazy reason. Um, but I just got a delivery of outfits, potential outfits for a murder mystery party that we are doing on New Year's Eve and I'm so excited. Murder mystery parties are so much fun and it's a 1920s themed um, one as well so I have to dress as like a flapper a 1920s flapper so I've ordered a few outfits I think I ordered like three or four options and then I'll just return whatever's not good this is the first option a tasseled bralette with mat it came with matching shorts but then I was like I don't know if I want to wear shorts so I also ordered the skirt so I might wear this top with the skirt um, I'm not sure yet. I need to try it on and see how. Um, I've got another one coming in the post, but also this one arrived, which is like this really pretty sequined nude colour dress as well. Very 1920s. So I'm going to try this on too and see how it fits. But this is very exciting. And I've got all my other like accessories arriving soon as well. So like flapper jewellery and like fake cigarette holders, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. This is cool. I'm glad it's arrived in time. I also just got another delivery from Anna Luisa, a festive delivery. I'm so glad to receive some of the pieces just before Christmas. You guys know I love Anna Luisa. They're my go-to place for all my gold jewellery. Um, they're based in New York, but they ship to Singapore. And I honestly can't believe how quickly my products get shipped over. Super speedy worldwide shipping and all their pieces start from just $39. So I've picked out these gorgeous hoops. I love how they're like twisted, twisted hoops. These are so nice and perfect for every day as well as evening. So I love those. I also went for a bracelet. I used to wear bracelets all the time, but when I switched to gold jewelry, I didn't have a gold bracelet. So I've picked out this one. This is so, so pretty. And then I saw this on their website and thought, you know what, I don't have a jewellery case and when I, well, when we're allowed to travel again, um, this is such a perfect way to store all my jewellery. I always struggle to find a safe place to store it when I'm travelling. I can put all my rings here, so I love this. I can't wait to travel again. Uh, but this is also this gorgeous, like, um, velvet green color such a perfect Christmas present it's so pretty so if you guys want to check out Anna Luisa jewelry for yourself I'll leave a link down below in the description box and a discount code um, they actually have a 2020 holiday sale up until the 26th of December so you can grab some um, bargains over there and it, like I said these will make really beautiful gifts for either yourself or friends and family so I'm currently in Holland Village because I am going to go get some clothes altered. Um, I've got a few pieces that need adjusting, um, I've got a couple of dresses and a pair of trousers and I'm going to this place um, at Holland Village Shopping Centre, it's um, like a dressmaking place and it's called Jenny and Me and I actually went there to get my wedding dress altered and it's owned by this gorgeous Chinese lady who barely speaks English. I honestly don't know how we managed to address my, to adjust my wedding dress so perfectly because it was quite hard to communicate with each other. Um, but somehow she created like my beautiful wedding dress and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to her and pay her a visit and get some clothes altered. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me. I'm going by memory right now, but if I remember, it's around the corner here somewhere. <laughs> Hello. Hello How are you? Very good. Are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Too long for your work, right? Yeah. Uh, too long. Wow. Too long. Three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Thank you. Okay. You Thanks. Yeah. Too long, huh? Yeah, too yeah. long. Yeah, too long. Yeah, I'm Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or inside. Mm -hmm. 
fun yeah. Friday. It kicks off at 5 p.m. on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekday getaway, she always chats with Kenneth Girl. The weekday getaway, Fridays at 5 p.m. Put lice. Kenneth Girl is a legend. Good day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Um, yesterday, Singapore got an announcement. PM Lee, Prime Minister Lee, um, did an announcement about phase three. So I thought I would keep you guys updated. I know there's some of you overseas who watch these vlogs who were interested in what's going on in Singapore. So I thought I would update you all on the whole covid situation so 28th of december singapore is officially going into phase three which means a few things honestly quite minor changes nothing as drastic as maybe people would have liked but it's progress nonetheless first main thing is that the size of gatherings is going to be increased from five people to eight people and this is exciting news because my birthday is on the 29th which means that i could celebrate with a group of eight friends which is really really great news um also really good for new year as well but it's just a shame that it didn't come earlier for christmas because i know a lot of people have had to minimize their um christmas groups this year um but anyway that's coming on the 28th of december um apparently increased operating of attractions from 50 percent to 65 percent increased capacity of 250 people for worship services limited pilot program for nightlife industry that's something i'm <laughs> eagerly awaiting for someone that like never really went to the club i've never wanted to go to the club so much in my life like it's just one of those things i want to go and dance and enjoy myself there's also some really weird rule about live instrumental music where no wind instruments are allowed to be played <laughs> so i've seen so many memes about like not being able to play recorders it's a very strange uh, rule that they've thrown in there but yeah so that is it for phase three let me know what you guys think and um keep me updated wherever you are in the world leave a comment let me know what the situation is in your country i'm always really interested to he hear what's going on and i know back home um london has just gone back into tier three again um i've got a bunch of friends that live in london so it's really sad to hear that they've gone back into another lockdown just before christmas um all very bizarre oh one more thing one big update is that singapore has now got vaccines available and apparently they are going to be free to all singaporeans um that want to have it that want to have the vaccine so yeah let me know your thoughts on the vaccine as well is it something that you guys would be open to getting or you're not interested in let me know let me know down below I'm currently sat at my brand new coffee table, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But this is my new favourite spot to do some editing. I don't know if you guys can see. I know it's weird to sit on the floor, but I like sit on a cushion on the floor and I just love editing here. So I have got a new coffee table from Castle Re, and I'm so happy with it. Honestly, as an expat, expats kind of come to Singapore and they think well I'm only gonna be here for a certain amount of time I'm not gonna be here forever so I'm gonna avoid splurging and buying nice furniture just because I'm gonna have to leave Singapore at the end of the day but I have to say since we got this coffee table my mindset has completely changed and I'm looking at it every day thinking oh my god why do we not invest in like nice pieces years ago because it makes so much of a difference so if you guys haven't heard of castlery it is a singapore based like furniture store they have an online website and physical stores and they sell really like modern and um, design led furniture they have a lot of modern contemporary pieces as well as scandinavian pieces as well which you guys know i love i hate having to assemble furniture myself so the fact that um, they can deliver to your home and have it assembled is incredible so i will be sure to link this coffee table down below in the description box as well as their website if you want to check them out for yourselves let me show you what this looks like so this is the coffee table it's the i think it's called the seb coffee table and it's a mid-century piece made from solid acacia wood and something i really love about it is it has this round um curved edges which I love, I just absolutely love this look and it's kind of stained in this honey colour. It also has two really large um, drawers which is amazing for storage and they're lined with this like velvet material um, and they're just so deep. I also really love that it goes perfectly with our rug as well and I just think it kind of brings everything together and it just feels more homely also it's so wide so we can like play games on it it's great to put like a bunch of food on if you have friends around um and i just really love the size of it um this is our little christmas tree that we got from 
cold storage. This is about as festive as it's getting in here this year. We've got a few, we've got some tinsel splattered around, but yeah, that's about it. Oh no, this is quite festive. <laughs> like I said, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. It's currently pouring down with rain. Um, I'm on my way to Astique Clinic to get a Botox top up. This screen keeps steaming. I'm on my way to Astique Clinic because I am getting a Botox top up. Um, I am long overdue and I wanted to get it in before Christmas and my birthday <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, I'm heading there now. This is where um, Astique is also con connected to Asia Medic. Um, it's part of the same like chain and it's in the same building. So that's the place I went for my health, my nutrition screening. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna go get Botox. So, it's, so we need to head to Orchard. So let's go there now. for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, I've got numbing on my forehead and around my eyes for my crow's feet. It feels so weird, but it's all starting to go really numb and it feels quite warm and tingly. Um, some people don't get numbing with Botox, some people just get ice. I've had it before where you can just get ice compacts and it kind of numbs it in the same way. But I think I prefer to do numbing just to be extra extra sure because it can be a little bit painful a little bit uncomfortable so numbing it is so now i've just got to wait like 15 minutes for it to kick in and then we can get the botox okay just had my injections honestly that was the most pain-free experience i've had with numbing cream normally with numbing you can still kind of feel it quite like you usually still feel it but honestly, like I couldn't feel the needles at all this time, which was so, so nice because it can be quite daunting. But um, yeah, Dr. Yong did an incredible job. So now I've got to wait about two weeks to see the results. And then if I need a top up, um, I can come back for that. So yeah, all good. I'm going to head home now. Hopefully it's still not raining. We'll see. God, it's still raining. But I feel like the rain makes it feel quite festive in a weird kind of way. <laughs> Told me we'd be fine, let's wait it. 